Okay, so I got an email regarding multiple choice questions in economics papers. Well, um, I've only come across multiple choice questions when I did the microeconomics exam, which was for the edX cell specification, the new one. That was where you have to choose an answer from four, there's like multiple choice, and then you have to write a three mark explanation for your choice. So I got a... Uh, um, ask that you know how do you take on the explanation well for me I went through I used a mnemonic a mnemonic uh, which doesn't sound very friendly dead so this is how I would do it I what I did is I would choose firstly what my answer is A B C or D and then for the explanation in my head I would already have the word dead there and then I would go through so Firstly, D. So I look, is there any words there which is like a specific economic term like producer, surplus, and monetary policy, any specific word, I would define it. Then I would try and give an example. So if I've said, um, you know, habit-forming goods, and I've defined what a habit-forming good is, I would give an example saying, for example, cigarettes. So I'll try and put in an example. So that's D, E. Then A, I'd apply to the question, how does habit-forming um, goods apply to uh, income elasticity of demand or whatever? I would just basically try and uh, link it to the question, what I've just said. And then lastly, D is any diagram. Do Can I fit in a diagram or can I annotate the producer-consumer surplus diagram which is already there? Now, sometimes this mnemonic will fail. So what I would do in those scenarios, I would just try and explain it like if I was talking to someone. Like if someone said to me, why did you choose that answer? Why is it not there? Then I would pick the others. There are also uh, other things that, I use but I don't want to confuse you in the E I didn't just put example I would also put explanation because you know as I just said not every question you can do the rest of the things so you might um, just end up doing defining and explaining less if you're talking to someone else and then the last D it's not just for diagram now they don't mention this in the mark scheme uh, well I only know from Edexcel but I'm sure that you do get some marks for this so it's not just um do a diagram, I also use it, if I can't do a diagram, if I can't do anything, can I discredit the other answers, so why did I not pick A, why did I not pick C, oh, because they are linked to something else, so that gives you a range of points, and I would just say for the multiple choice questions, stick to the mnemonic dead, well, it depends, I'm the edX cell specification, so you guys, you know, might not fit in, so anyway, this is just a video explaining how I took on the multiple choice questions, because I've been getting emails regarding this. Thank you. Please visit my blog for further information.